I think what we have in psychiatry is an unacceptable approach to diagnosis and to understanding how to direct patients to particular treatments. We use essentially a treatment approach that was developed in the 1950s and 60s. It's nothing more than a symptom checklist. A patient comes into the office of a doctor and outlines their complaints. And on the basis of that report, we make a diagnosis and then direct patients to particular treatments. All of this occurs despite the fact that in the year 2014, we can collect genomic data of the individual, we can scan the entire epigenome, we can image the brain. The problem is, how do we use that data in the service of better diagnosis, and in particular to predict who's going to respond best to what particular treatment? I'm a scientist at the uh, Jewish General Hospital and the Lady Davis Research Institute. Uh, and the Ludmer Center has grouped me at the Jewish General with Michael Meany at the Douglas, Alan Evans at the Montreal Neurological Institute. We have three very different areas of expertise and our group comes in to try and put all of that data together in order to draw some conclusions from it that make sense. Well, this is big science. And it's a bit ambitious because it's so multidisciplinary and it falls outside the realm of the traditional funding agencies. What the Ludmer support has allowed us to do is to bring together these different groups and not only within our own laboratory, but perhaps as importantly to partner with groups across the world. So it's allowed us to exist as a hub, if you will, internationally for bringing biological sciences into intervention programs. We are communicating increasingly with our colleagues around the world. Uh, we have partners in Latin America studying child development, in Singapore studying child development. We have partners in Europe uh, and Korea and India looking at Alzheimer's disease. Our colleagues in Germany, uh, they took one brain from uh, somebody who donated uh, her brain and they took that brain and they sliced it just like a, a deli slicer, 7,400 times 20 microns thick. And when I say 20 microns, that's, that's thinner than a human hair. And then we had the task of using computational techniques to realign and correct all of the distortions such that we could put all those slices back together again in a coherent three-dimensional brain. So the gift from Mr. Ludmer has really been uh, transformational for my group. Uh, what it has enabled is the hiring of these permanent staff people in my group. And so having stable staff there, I'm creating a kind of base of knowledge that the, the students can learn from and capitalize from. It speeds up their work, it speeds up my work of course as well. It really is a great advantage for the research. We need this basic infrastructure. Irving Ludmer's gift provides support for exactly that infrastructure, so we've got the infrastructure secure for years to come. I think the Ludmer Center is going to grow substantially over the next five to ten years. I'm hoping that the community that will be created through this Ludmer Center is going to be really transformational in terms of what we can learn about mental health and how the brain functions. Recently, uh, one of the fellows in my lab came up with a, a new finding using a, a computational model to explain uh, a very fundamental aspect of, of Alzheimer's disease. This came as a great surprise to me. It's his work, and uh, that's, that's the joy of working in this lab. The, uh, one of the fellows comes running and saying, look what I've just found. What I foresee is actually a word of better mental health. So mental illness we often see as something that affects only an unfortunate small segment of the population. Now that's wrong, these diseases are far more prevalent. But mental health is something that affects all of us. As we say at the Douglas, there's no health without mental health. 
So the challenge isn't simply that of preventing mental illness, it's really of enhancing the capacity of every individual for a productive and healthy and happy life.